a very good morning to one and all the topic for today's lecture is tools of genetic engineering tools of genetic engineering means the requirements with the help of which we can accomplish the fate of the genetic engineering what is genetic engineering as in previous lecture i have told you that the engineering means the manipulation and genetics that is related to the genes genetic engineering means the manipulation of the genes in order to obtain the product of our interest the genetic engineering was the term very firstly coined by paul berg in 1972 since then this scientist paul berg was known as the father of the genetic engineering after the introduction of the term genetic engineering there came a number of advancements in the field of genetic engineering a number of scientists contribute in the field of genetic engineering with the help of their respective inventions for example a number of enzymes were dis were discovered and invented by number of scientists restriction enzymes that were being discovered by lin and arbor dna ligase that was been discovered by gallert for a number of scientists contribute in the field of genetic engineering we without wasting the time we straight away move towards the topic that is the tools of the genetic engineering tools are the equipments or the requirements without which we cannot identify or without which we cannot accomplish the fate of any of the objective what are the basic tools that are being that are being needed in the field of genetic engineering is foremost tool that is required in the genetic engineering is the dna fragment or the foreign material foreign molecule dna fragment or any fragment of the bio molecule is that molecule in which which is the which provides us the base for the manipulation it is the fragment in which we can add something or we can delete something or we can insert some something or translocate something and a number of insertions or deletions can be made in dna fragment in order to obtain the choice of interest now if we are adding or we are removing something from a bio molecule we need a class of enzymes which which are being used in the field of genetic engineering a number of enzymes such as restriction endonucleases alkaline phosphatases s1 nucleases polymerases rtas dna polymerase are being used in are being used in the manipulation of the dna fragment after when we isolate or identify the dna fragment in which we have to manipulate or we have to change the nucleotide sequences or anything a number of enzymes are being used after modification of this dna fragment we simply translocate this dna fragment into the vector molecule now what is a vector molecule vectors are the molecular vehicles which transfer the dna fragment from one from one organism to another organism these provides a route or the vehicle or the transport for the translocation or transference of a dna molecule from one organism to another organism we cannot even imagine the fate of the genetic engineering without a vector molecules depending upon the type of the transfection or the translocation we are being imply we are being implying in the field of genetic engineering vectors are of a number of choices for example if we are transferring any molecule into the prokaryotic organism the vector will be something that has the dna insert size of approximately 0 to 8 kilo kilo base pair now there occurs a new word that is dna insert size what is dna insert size this is the capacity of a vector molecule to uphold the dna molecule which is to be transferred from one organism to another organism the most importantly used vectors of having small dna insert site is the plasmid what are plasmids plasmids are the naturally occurring extra chromosomal material in the bacterial cell bacterial cell is the prokaryotic cell this is chromosomal material lying inside the bacterial cell bacterial cell despite of the normal bacterial cons bacterial chromosomal constituent there are certain extra chromosomal material lying inside the bacterial cell these extra chromosomal materials are known as plasmids these 
in this these plasmids are naturally synthesized for genetic engineering we covered these bacterial bacterial extra chromosomal material of the bacterial cell artificially such type of vehicles that are being isolated from extra chromosomal material are known as plasmids plasmids could could be of the following two types stringent or relaxed stringent plasmid or relaxed plasmid on the basis of the maintenance of their copy number now what is copy number copy number is the amount or the number of plasmid that uh, number of dna or the plasmid that is a bacterial cell is being maintaining into a particular cell based on this plasmid could be stringent plasmid or relaxed plasmid stringent plasmids have multiple copy number means these plasmids maintain themselves into the cell into more than one number then what are relaxed plasmids relaxed plasmids are those plasmids which maintain themselves into the single copy number based on this maintenance plasmids could even have the stringent replication or the relaxed replication stringent replication is the replication which is required for the maintenance of multiple copy numbers similarly relaxed replication is the type of the replication which is being required by plasmid to maintain it into single copy number the most importantly artificially synthesized plasmid is pbr 322 pbr means p stands for plasmid b and r are the names of the scientist which which discovered this pbr 322 that is bolivar and rodrigues it was the first artificially synthesized plasmid that was firstly used as a vector in the field of genetic engineering what were the main components of pbr 322 it was a circular circular plasmid having a particular sequence responsible for the origin of the replication that is known as ori sequence having mcs mcs means multiple cloning site then having markers that is ampicillin and tetracycline resistance what is the significance of ori these are few sequences which are mandatory in the case of each and every vector without these sequences we cannot synthesize vector in artificial artificial state what is the significance of ori sequence ori sequence is the specific sequence which provides the site for the replication of the origin that is responsible for the maintenance of plasmid in the as stringent plasmid or as the relaxed plasmid based on the number of the copy number in which the plasmid is maintained in the cell or i sequence what is mcs multiple cloning site this is the site that is being activated by the help of the restrict specific type of restriction endonucleases then we have selectable markers what are markers markers are the dna sequences which provides a particular landmark in the field of genetic engineering these for a, in layman language we can say that markers are the milestones ampicillin resistance and tetracycline resistance marker this this marker will be resistant towards the action of the antibiotic ampicillin and this marker will be resistant for the action of um, antibiotic tetracycline then what are cosmids cosmids are also the artificially synthesized vectors which we which have cos site what is cos site cos site is the particular type of site which provides the site for the attachment of a particular fragment onto the vector molecule there are like plasmid and cosmid there are a number of vectors which are used in the field of genetic engineering that, for example lambda phage vector lambda phage vector that is as the name suggests that is being isolated from the lambda phage this vector could further be of two types insertion vector and replacement vector what is insertion vector see in lambda phage molecule we have in between 
a non expressible portion of the dna that is called stuffer dna based on the action of this stuffer dna lambda phage vectors are pro are classified into two parts that is insertion vectors or the replacement vectors insertion vectors we insert the expressible portion in the stuffer dna without removing the stuffer dna and what is replacement vector we very firstly remove this stuffer this is non coding dna from the lambda phage vector and then we upload our host foreign dna molecule into the vector molecule this was all about the vectors that are based on the small size of dna insert if we have to upload a longer larger fragment of the dna vector then we move towards the east based vectors or the mainly the artificial chromosomes artificial chromosomes are the vectors which have the dna fragment size comparatively larger than the plasmid lambda phage and cosmid vectors artificial vectors are of the following types back vectors yak vectors mac vectors pack vectors back stands for bacterial artificial chromosome yak stands for east artificial chromosome mac stands for mammalian artificial chromosome and pack stands for p1 derived chromosome since the main aim of this lecture is not focused on the types of the vector we are discussing these vectors into the detail we will discuss in discuss these types of vectors in another lecture that is mainly focused on the functions of the vector then moving on to the other types if we have to inculcate our foreign dna molecule into the plant vector then we cannot use these vectors there are different vectors which are specific though we can use these vector also into the plant molecules but there are few disadvantages and limitations which are seen in the functioning of these vectors so there are a number of vectors which are only synthesized or used for plants they this, those vectors which are mainly used for plants comprises of gemini virus based vectors cmv ve vectors tmv vectors and so on after upholding the dna molecule into the vector molecule we upload this vector molecule into the host cell now what is host cell host cell is the organism in which we have to check the expression of the protein of our interest that is this the host molecule provides the base or the platform for the practicals of genetic engineering in which we can check the expression of the desired product one more thing that is responsible that is mainly focused in the field of genetic engineering is the relationship between the host molecule and the vector molecule if in some cases vector molecule is not being accepted by the host molecule then there is no use of such whole process of the genetic engineering so it is being mandatory to focus about the host molecule ki what type of vector we are using what type of dna it is being holded and what type of host we are choosing for the practical that is being used in the genetic engineering after upholding the vector molecule into the uh, host molecule this procedure of transferring of vector to host is known as transfection molecule transfection technique this method is may be also of two types either this molecule may inculcate into the dna of the host molecule and replicate simultaneously with the host molecule that is as the host molecule replicates the dna molecule which we have uploaded with the help of vector will replicate with the host molecule or in other case it may be possible that the the dna foreign dna can could not inculcate with the host molecule and it maintains its independent replication in the host molecule after transferring into the host molecule we check the expression into the host molecule that is if what type of dna we have transferred and that dna is being is making the particular type of protein that we are that is the choice of our interest after expression we screen out the desired protein with the help of a number of techniques such as hart with the help of cdna libraries with the help of genomic dna libraries with the help of colony hybridization and all if we obtain the product of our interest that is our the uh, 
main motive of the practical of the genetic engineering is accomplished but in case if we do not obtain the product of interest we have to repeat the whole process starting from the first point that is from the isolation of dna fragment thank you